triple stack of them, like, because we're looking out for that little. everyone voice recording lauren here uh, i just wanted to say hey um this next clip is of just me enjoying my coffee on the porch in a hammock um with the sun on me so um i wanted to give you a little bit of um what i've been thinking about lately one of the things that has been um, becoming more present in my life is just taking time for meditation. Um, so I used to be pretty intimidated by meditation. Um, it was a it was a scary concept for me to sit alone with my thoughts, um, and I really had a hesitancy and a fear there. Um, but lately, I've been doing guided meditations. Some of my favorites are from Lavender. Um, you can look her up on YouTube. But it's really given me this space to be able to sit with myself and not to have to have any noise um, and not have to constantly distract myself or keep myself busy. So this is something that um, I've been trying to practice more often, especially um, when I don't feel like it, when there are those moments where I really want to just keep myself busy and keep my mind preoccupied. So um, even as simple as sitting out in the sun a little bit, um, trying to get some fresh air and giving my mind some quiet before um, the main part of my day starts. So um, let me know if you have any personal experiences with meditation, what that looks like for you, um, and what your some favorite, what some of your favorite uh, meditations are. Um, techniques, YouTubers, guided meditations, practices. Um, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks again for watching. Um, stay tuned for the rest of the video. <laughs>to do my laundry. I actually, I don't know that many people do. It's just one of those tasks that's so repetitive. Um, but this is another uh, situation where I'm trying to, you know, just get better at it by practice um, and by 
finding a way to make it fun. So here I've been watching some YouTube videos, um, but also I found this new technique where if I put a time lapse on, um, this helps me get things done so much faster. Um, this could be like folding the laundry, doing the dishes, cleaning my room, some of those like chores that I'm not super thrilled about. If I know that a time lapse is going, I'm like, okay, well, I have to stay focused. I have to be consistent and keep this going. Otherwise, I'll just get distracted and end up um, not even paying attention to what I'm doing. So I'm about to meet up with my um, friend who's gonna help me figure out how to make a tile uh, coffee table. So at this point, um, my friend had already helped me cement on the tiles. Um, so I was just going over on my own and trying to do the grout in between the tiles. Um, this was much more tedious than I expected and I made an absolute mess. Um, I was kind of just winging it based off of the tips I had been given and the YouTube videos I had watched. But as you can see, I'm literally using a kitchen knife even though I have the proper tools right there. Um, so you know. Um, a little bit makeshift, but I think it actually um, turned out pretty well. I, I would say for a first time, first time gig, this is not bad. I know that my methods are probably going to drive some of you crazy watching this. Um, people who have any experience in tiling are probably quaking right now. Um, so I apologize if this hurts your heart to watch. <laughs> but again, this is my first time and I was kind of trying it on my own. And um, this worked for me. Other than the fact that I had grout all over me for days and days, um, it, there was no major damage done. So it worked. The edges are kind of terrible, but we'll figure that out. Got my weekly post counseling uh, coffee and I'm ready to take on the rest of the day. Okay, that's a little ambitious, but after this, I will be. So good. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> 